Welcome, PCS students, families, teachers, administrators, and guests to our second Level Up Visual Arts Virtual Enrichment Event of the school year with, that's right, the Dolly Museum. I'm Jonathan Ogle, and I am happy that you decided to join us this evening during this Level Up event. Um, if this is your first ever Level Up experience, let me give you a quick overview. Uh, our school district's innovative Level Up program offers quality virtual enrichment opportunities throughout the school year that allows students and families to make the most of their PCS Connects digital learning devices. It also helps students connect to learning beyond the school day in their classrooms. I am thrilled that the Visual Arts Department could team up with the Dolly Museum uh, the Dolly Museum has been a strong partner for Pinellas County Schools with Pinellas County Schools um, for many years. You might have taken a, a field trip to the Dolly Museum in St. Petersburg, or you might have gone to the Dolly on the Fly artmobile that visits elementary schools. You may have even had your artwork on display at the Dolly Museum in the Student Surreal Exhibition. If you haven't had that opportunity, keep working because someday you might. This evening, we have two amazing art experts joining us from the Dolly Museum. Our presenters are Senior Curator of Education, Peter Tush, and Family Program Coordinator, Joy Garrett Douglas. You'll be able to learn about online opportunities the Dolly Museum has available just for you. We'll get to do a Dilly Dally hands-on virtual project, see the Dolly Museum's augmented reality project with Dolly Masterworks, examine examples of digital approaches Pinellas students have used for the Dolly Student Surrealist exhibition and learn about the online Teen Voices project where Pinellas teens interpret the Dolly collection. Oh, and that's not all. Online Dolly student resources will be explored and shared. You'll notice that the microphones are disabled, but you can write your questions or comments in the chat and we'll answer them uh, during this session and when we have time at the end. So let's get rolling now with a presentation of Dolly Online, Digital Dreams and Surreal Fun from Peter and Joy from the Dolly Museum. Peter. Thank you, Jonathan. Hello, everybody. Thank you all for joining us. I think Joy is still in the waiting room. So my colleague uh, just needs to be brought in. So we're all here. But um, yeah, we are thrilled to be here and share it with you some of the things that we are doing at the Dolly Museum and trying to share for you to make the Dolly virtual and available to you, whether at the museum or at some distant space where you are uh, aware of us. So uh, I'm going to share my uh, computer. Give me one second here. And hopefully somewhere in here that. OK, it's going to take just a second. It is uploading and um, what I'm going to be sharing with you, as Jonathan said, are a variety of things that we have at the Dolly Museum that have been designed for you to be able to take advantage of and have access to us. So we're talking about Dolly Online, Digital Dreams, and Surreal Fun. And the first thing to say is Jonathan showed a beautiful slide is we are the Dolly Museum, which is a beautiful, beautiful building on Bay, um, Bay Drive in St. Petersburg downtown. Hopefully all of you have visited the museum, but if you haven't, you must come. It's a wonderful place to work, and it's this incredibly safe space for our paintings. As you can see, this kind of a construction that basically is, is, is like a Fort Knox kind of situation. All of our paintings are on the third floor. And then we have this wonderful uh, morphing um, asymmetrical geodesic structure. And the geodesic structure uh, allows you to not only have light everywhere in the gallery except for where the paintings are, 
but it also um, emulates and references the way that Dolly would approach objects and make them melt and ooze and become very interesting. So a little bit about the artist who we, we celebrate. Uh, his name is Salvador Dali with the accent on the I. He's a Spanish artist and he's associated with the art style known as surrealism. So the painting of painter of dreams. I was born in 1904, passed away at 85 in 1989. So his life covered most of the 20th century. He's a painter, a writer, a filmmaker, a sculptor, an inventor, and primarily a dreamer. So that's the way that we see him. He is known as a surrealist, and he's definitely known by his mustache. So you can see that there. So the agenda for night tonight, as uh, as Jonathan mentioned, we're going to be talking about uh, we're going to have a dilly dally event, which my colleague uh, Joy is going to be taking us through, sharing with the uh, with you some of the things that she does um, at the museum every other Thursday for free through Zoom, but also uh, showing you something really amazing that the Tate Modern has available for you. Going to be talking about our augmented reality tour of the collection, digital student surrealism, so some of the artwork that's in our current show from Pinellas that features digital technology. We're going to talk a little bit about our team voices and then wrap it up with sharing some of our resources with you. So we're going to go to the Dilly Dally online activity and Joy is going to be talking about this, so hope Joy is here. Let's see, not sure if I see her name yet. I am not sure I if she was her name earlier, but um, I'm not seeing it now and she's not. I don't see her in the waiting room or the lobby. OK, um, I will text her about that. I think I can go on to some other material and. Um, and come back, so give me one second here. Uh, I will ask her to join again. And that should be enough. OK, so until I see Joy again, we're going to go ahead and go forward. Dolly has a great quote. My painting is like an iceberg. Oh, there we go. Hooray. Yeah, I let her. <laughs> hey, Joy. So I'm going to stop sharing, I guess. Yes. And change it to Joy so she can change. My colleague, Joy, is going to lead us through one of her great projects. And OK, I'm going to. Stop sharing. I think. OK, there we go. OK, so Joy, um, you, I think, have been given control so you can share. What you've got. You're having the same audio problem I am, I had, and it is. You have to change the audio setting by going to the three dots at the top. Go down to device settings, and then change your microphone. And hopefully that will get you there. All right. Hi. Yes. Can you see now? Yes. Okay, awesome. We hear you. Hi, Joy. Hello. Thank Thanks. you for having me. Oh, absolutely. And you're a presenter now, so you can present away. Great. So I'm not too sure if I've been introduced yet, but I'm Joy Garrett, the Education and Community Programming Associate at the Salvador Dali Museum, the Dali. And I have a video that's about 20 minutes long, and it will introduce um, fun different resources that you can find on our website to um, engage yourself with arts and arts and crafts in different um, parts of our galleries on our website. And then we'll, um, you can join me, you can do this um, at home, a fun activity that I found online that's outside the museum, but you can create some surreal effects. So. I will share my screen here. All right, just a moment. So. 
All right, and please let me know if the sound is not loud enough. You can adjust your sound. I will not speak through this unless I am asked a question. So just bear with the first moments of volume here. Say, Joy, is there supposed to be audio right now? We're not, yes. we're not hearing it. I'm not hearing it on our side. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I think when you click the share icon mm -hmm. and then you'll see at the top, it says share content. It, click that little toggle thing that says next to it, include computer sound. Yeah, I clicked that. So let's, oh, let's you? try it Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I'll go back. All right, I'll play it for a moment. You can just give me a thumbs up, Jonathan. I see you. Hello, I am Joy Garrett, an education and community programming associate at the Dollar. Oops, back to regular web. The end. There we go. <laughs> Hello, I am Joy Garrett, the education and community programming associate at the Dolly Museum. To find more information about Dilly Dally with Dolly. You can go to the What's On section here, Calendar of Events. You'll click this button, and it will take you to our events calendar. To find the specific programming for family and children, click the filter button here, and then go to Children and Family. Once you click Children and Family, it will take you to a page where you will only find workshops, um, Dilly Dally with Dali, and the virtual and in-person sessions. So the online session of Dilly Dally with Dali looks like this and it will say online to indicate that this is a virtual program. So click the link, click the button and it will open to the next date of Dilly Dally with Dali, which is actually this Thursday, March 3rd, 5 p.m to 5 30 p.m you can join me on a virtual session in order to join me joy garrett at the dolly virtually you'll have to click register now dilly dolly with dolly is for ages 6 to 11 to explore the creative world of salvador dolly and the special collection that we have and a permanent collection and special exhibit that we have at the museum currently we have the exhibit picasso in the allure of the south it's wonderful so a lot of our projects in the session they focus more on Pablo Picasso once you register you'll, you'll receive a zoom link with a lesson plan with uh, more information about the activity you can also click here to view the online Dilly Dally with Dali activities and recommended materials so I'm going to click here this is a past project that we'll do again the Cubist collage so this Thursday, we're doing the collage portrait. All you'll need is construction paper, glue stick, and scissors. Very fun project. That is my self-portrait, my cubist self-portrait. Then coming up, a few more projects. And then this page is consistently updated with more projects continuing on throughout the year. Now, let me show you a little bit more about the virtual opportunities we have at the museum. So what's on tab, you look at the very bottom, there is a visit virtually. Tab there, just click it and you'll see a few options. The visit virtually page is a fun page where you can explore different aspects of Salvador Dali and the Dali Museum. The first button here, this is Dolly's artwork. Um, you can view his collection, parental advisory um, is advised, and also online exhibits. And the online exhibits is a fun one for the Pinellas County School Board because the Student Surrealist Art Exhibit, online exhibit, lives here among other online exhibits with the Dolly. And then also Dreams of Dolly. So I'm going to click this one first and I'll just cut to a screen of Dreams of Dolly, the actual video. So here you can find information about Dreams of Dolly. 
um, a wonderful, wonderful virtual reality view and experience of the archaeological remnants of Malay's Angeles. And there are different download options for the Oculus if you have one and a few others. And if you click here, it will open up to the next screen, which is a YouTube version of Dreams of Dolly. You go back to the Visit Virtually page and scroll down to the Education and Engagement for Teachers and Parents and Students section. There's a videos, lesson plans, and activities, web pages that you can visit by clicking on the button. Once you're on the educational videos web page, you'll find multiple videos that you can explore to learn more about Salvador Dali surrealism. And there's an educational art activity similar to our Dilly Dally with Dali projects about creating a geodesic dome and a vault out of <laughs> gummies and toothpicks. So here is our Surrealism the Big Idea. You may have seen this in class, a really quick video to basically explore what is Surrealism and the history behind it. And then how to make Surrealist art for the Student Surrealist Art Exhibits. You've definitely seen this before. And another video about the following content. Then also the above content. Also, we have Dolly on the Fly. This video is so fun. It's a great, quick view um, of what and who is the Dali Museum, who's Salvador Dali, and the two flies, um, the little fly, the nine-year-old granddaughter, and then the grandfather fly from um, the hallucinogenic corridor. They take you through the museum in the most interesting way and teach you about the artwork. And then here, this video is something that I was a part of with the St. Petersburg Science Festival. And at the end of this presentation where you learn a little bit about Dali and the golden ratio, you'll get to create, walk through the steps with me on how to create a geodesic dome. It's pretty fun and delicious. I definitely suggest doing this after school one day just to do it and create any shape you like. As long as you can get the principle of how to stick the pieces together, you can go really far with it. So check these educational lessons out. Go back to this area here. We will see lesson plans. Um, lesson plans include brief lesson plans where you can create art um, about Dali is similar to the activities tab. So I'm actually going to go to the activities tab so that we can check out one of our favorite things here at the Dali Museum, which is our Dali Museum activity book. And just so you can see, if you scroll down, you'll see some of our, this is a worksheet here that you can print out at home. And, um, and also we have our Rothko chalk drawing inspired by um, painting. They're all inspired by works of art at the Dali itself. And a few of these projects I teach in Dilly Dally with Dali. And with our activity book, when you click here to download, it will download to your computer depending on your settings, but first for me, it opens up as a PDF, which is great because you can also open PDFs in Photoshop. Now let's transition to our activity. This activity explores an outside source that I found really fun. So let's take a look. And the tape modern uh, tape.org.uk i'll have that for you on the screen this is one of their fun painting engines here it can be found on their tape kits games and quizzes adults do not be afraid to use this it's pretty fun so this is what the page looks like when you click on um, the games and quizzes and find the tape paint engine and here is the play button. So I'm going to click it 
automatically your screen will go into full screen. If you do not want full screen um, access to this, you'll just click here and it'll make the screen smaller. However, I found that clicking the button here to make the screen go back to regular web view, um, I do not think unless you refresh the page, you can go back into full screen. So there's a let's create button here. There's an inspire me button. I like the inspire me button just for maybe like a first time user friendly um, setup where you click it, click the green button. You have different themes to choose from. Here is the weather theme. I created a masterpiece that I'll share with you out of the weather theme. When you go to the weather theme, you'll have different canvases just like the other thing. So whether food, natural world. I love these little caterpillars and the zebra print. I'm assuming those are caterpillars. They look very interesting. And experiments, weather, food, and so forth. Uh, I thought about the reason I went back to natural worlds, I thought about trying it out, but I actually would like to try out the experiments for this example. Very fun. Um, I think you can get a lot of surreal uh, effects and things to try out in this. So I clicked on it. Here's the canvases to choose from. There's a white canvas, canvas with some line work. Um, I played around on this canvas where the lines also go into the foreground and overlap with the, um, the background and it can kind of change depending on what materials you use. So that's fun and this is very, very, very dreamlike. Uh, you can get a really nice, surreal, like starry almost, imaginative background. A good old black canvas and a nice pink, very pink canvas. Use the blank canvas just to experiment with these wonderful options that you can see around the screen. Here we have your different experimental materials, glitter, liquid glue, this fun balloon, which is difficult to explain, but definitely I will try it out for you. Bubbles, and then this fun sticker that's animated. We have our eraser to navigate. You just click on the image. Our felt tip marker, can of spray paint, a marker that has an angle tip, fine tip so that you can use it. Some look like a highlighter has angles. You can see the, the effect almost that the material will give you above with the colors. And also the colors are fun because once you click it, your materials, your mediums change to the color you use. And here is a palette knife. Brush, brush. They both are a little different. This is almost a solid stream of paint and I'll show you those. And then our colored pencil. And then we're back at our experimental materials. So let's just try something fun. We're just gonna test out these different options here. Um, hmm. Let's make some sort of like dream like sky. What is a dream like sky? Hello Dolly. Often use a lot of oranges and reds. Catalonian sky. It's in paint and impression style, but for now, I think it's definitely one of my most favorites. Also, a lot of these materials have sound. This is the sound of a palette knife, which looks like the image. I'm um, smearing paint across the canvas. And I'm painting in curves because it kind of adds some dimension and style, a little dynamic comp composition to the work of art. Van Gogh painting, Impressionist style, Vincent Van Gogh. All right, so you all these different colors look so fun. I'm gonna add a little red. This might go really nice, or I might not like it. Let's see. Oh, this looks very autumn. All right, I'm gonna go back over it with the orange. Just to do that, all right. 
now let's transition to our activity this activity explores an outside source that i sorry not too sure why that audio is there but i'm just gonna skip forward a little bit this landscape here we go all right let's try out this fun guy so i'm just going to pick a cool spot to use them ah that was so fun all right those look like eyes to me. And then there's little eyelashes. I'm going to use another one. Oh, now I was looking to the side. And then another one here. Just because. And now they're all looking at that one. So their eyes, they're very fun as you paint or draw. Let's see, I'll just. You can see them looking. All right, I'm going to go back over that with my orange. It's just so you can see them looking around. Super fun. Oh, I meant to also add a little bit of some water down here. Time for my favorite experimental tool. Well, I, the glitter's pretty nice, but this one so I have it selected. I'm going to click here to just close the options. And oh my gosh, it's almost like there's two of paint behind the canvas, pretty much dripping down the work of art. And to me, the reason I chose this effect, this experimental um, item to use it right under the eyes it kind of looks like two eyes in the mouth to me so i'm going to do that right over i want to do it there i like that they're all looking at that one i think that's pretty good i think that's as good as it kind of gets for, for that but um also i want to use the glue so we can try that out so the glue is very interesting. Uh, if you have your sound on, definitely listen to. I must add, you will not be able to hear the sound because it is very loud sound of liquid glue spurting onto the canvas. So you will not be able to hear the tools until you test it out. Good when you're using it. I want to put some eyebrows on these eyes. You hear that? Let's see, I'll make this eyebrow a little interesting. <laughs> and here's the glitter. The glitter is a fun effect too. And you sprinkle it over the eyebrows. Actually going to use a little more glue. This is very strange, but let's think about it. This is a free program that allows you so many options. And the different themes that you pick, you get different options. Um, I'm going to use my palette knife again. Uh, I'm going to use this blue and just add some of that color down here. Uh, this is not the type of blue I was really looking for, but hey, it gives us a little purple. I'll just go back over it with the light blue, the like ultramarine type of blue. I'll just go over that a little bit there. And now I have this oh, very strange, um, surreal, imaginative landscape of faces. And this was created is the experimental theme. So you can just click the check mark 
Have you finished? Yes. Ta-da. Thank you. Thank you. And if you would like, you can go ahead and send it to the Tate Kids Gallery. That's completely up to you and your adult um, guardian. Or you can try it and download it. All right, and that is all. I hope you enjoyed that mini lesson there. <laughs> Ta -da. And this, do you have a, um, do you have a dilly dally coming up this Thursday? Yes, this Thursday, um, five to five thirty p.m. If you go to the events page, you can look on our website and click family, children and family um, events. Not only will you see the virtual Dilly Dally with Dolly, which is this Thursday, 5 to 530. You'll also see online um, dates and any family workshops that we have coming up in the museum. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Joy. And I just want everybody to know those links that Joy shared in her uh, presentation are now in the chat. So you can find those and click on the ones that you want or copy them and save them to your computer for later. Thank you, Jonathan. That's excellent. And I guess I will continue now after that very robust and really fun activity. I'm going to share with you some other things that are also maybe robust but a little more specific so um so let's see let's see if i can get back to my powerpoint here i assume that means upload my powerpoint again and this should just take a minute upload oh okay taking just a minute and we're going to continue so Joy was presenting an activity that's definitely available for everybody that you can take advantage of and is super fun, but she also does a lot of activities twice a month that you can take advantage of through Zoom at the, uh, the Dolly Museum. And I'm now going to talk to you a little bit about augmented reality. So the Dolly Museum's been exploring a number of different types of uh, ways of sharing information with, uh, with visitors and using technology to amplify what our collection's about. And so we've explored a variety of different things. We have um, artificial intelligence, we have VR, and we have AR, augmented reality. So what is it that we're doing? Well, we've got eight of our paintings, the very large ones, if you're familiar with them, paintings like the Toreador and Nature More Vivant, and we've actually worked with a company that has created a video using each of these paintings as a basis for it. So in order to experience this, and this is something you can do at home, essentially you just go to our website or you can just go straight to the App Store on your uh, phone. You go to the App Store and you can download um, our app for the Dolly Museum. You can connect through Wi-Fi, go to either Google Play or App Store. You either get it or install it. And basically, this is what it looks like when it uploads. It has a variety of different things you can do. One of the things you can do is you can go directly to Dolly in AR, Dolly uh, for augmented reality. And we've taken these eight paintings. So they're, I'm sure, very familiar with all of you, including the Toreador and our Lincoln painting. And what they've done is they created a situation so that you can really not only engage with these paintings, but you can see them in a completely new way. What happens, and this is really what's pretty special and makes it very easy and fun for you, just find any of these eight images on a computer or in a reproduction, if you have a book that has one of these eight images, have the app loaded onto your phone, open it up to the augmented reality, you hold your phone and get each of these paintings into the viewer and it launches a 30 second to one minute long movie and you'll actually see things floating out hovering you'll see things changing there's music and at the end of the uh, cycle it will point out some things to uh that you might not be familiar with 
like I believe on this painting, it points out about the uh, spiral, um, the spiral on the uh, banister outside. I think it talks about the cauliflower that's in the upper right hand side, and then you can click on those and find some more information. So each of Dolly's paintings is off, often a story. He's telling a story through augmented reality. We've been able to share that story with individuals who would normally look at this and say, it's really interesting, but I'm not sure what's going on. It animates parts of it so that you start to draw attention to areas you might have missed. And then at the end of the 30 seconds, you get to click on one of the one of four spots, hot spots, to learn a little bit more about that specific symbol. And one of the things that it's really good with is pointing out um, something like the hallucinogenic Toreador, which is I think many people's favorite painting in our collection. And you can actually start to see how Dolly took the idea of the Venus de Milo, the figure of the female in the middle, and actually developed a face around it so that these will hover. And again, it will uh, it will be uh, launched in a video. So that's augmented reality. I was going to show you a video, but I think for, for time, I'm going to skip that video because I have one more I'm going to share at the end. But definitely, I encourage you to go to the app and explore it because it's super fun. It's great in the classroom. It's great at home. And there's new things that you'll notice every time. So Dolly has some great quotes. I've sprinkled a few of them in here. One of them is the only difference between myself and a madman is that I'm not mad. So the Dolly Museum is definitely a place where strength strange and unusual things are allowed to happen. And this brings us to one of our strangest and most wonderful projects, which is the ongoing student surrealism exhibition. And the reason I wanted to include it tonight and talk to you about it is because we have seen far, far more sophisticated, numerous entries into our show that use digital technology. So our show used to be dominated by drawings and paintings, often to the point of like 95% to 5%. And I would say that's changed a lot. At least a third of our show right now is digital. So the exhibition we have is the Student Surrealist Exhibition. And right now we are featuring Pinellas County, although unfortunately it's gonna come down on Monday. So it is not does not really allow you much time to come in and see it, especially since we don't have our parking lot until next Thursday. But um, anyway, this is happening. If you go online though, we do have the full exhibition that you can explore and it's going to remain up there permanently. So that's one of the links we have is how to get to the gallery and explore it online. And I wanted to show you a couple of the examples of um, of the work. This year's theme is the metaphor metamorphic moment. So it relates to paintings like this one by Dali where women, very beautiful women, just happen to have suddenly instead of heads, they have bouquets of roses. So it's a li little bit like the mythology of Daphne who metamorphosizes into a tree. Here we have three women whose heads have metamorphosized or transformed into flower bouquets. And so that's what we were encouraging people to do. Think of the metamorphic moment and when things are changing. And so here's some of the works that we have to share. This is uh, actually from the middle school. So this is middle school digital experiments. We have this one by Yvonne Forbes called Mother Bird and has spent a lot of time looking at this and enjoying it. So you can see that the, the person's face has now become also a nest for the young, uh, the young birds who are being fed by the mother. And Yvonne said this about her work. She said, I was inspired by this year's theme and it reminded me of birds hatching. I use digital collage and painting to create this composition. My work is surreal because even though there are real things like the people and animals, this is something you can never actually see. Uh, while making the work, I learned that trying to, a different medium can be fun. So she's somebody who wasn't that familiar with uh, working in digital, and she used the digital images and explored it and actually came up with a really startling image. So this was one of our award winners. This is also an award winner. This is Zamaria uh, Hogenbach. It's a piece called Solar Reading. And it's a family essentially relaxing under the stars as each one of them is in their own orbit as a different planet. And Zemaria said, I was inspired to create solar reading because their minds were out of this world. To me, they appeared very creative. Reading books can take you to other worlds. 
which is super wonderful. And that might be some some of the reason why she received the uh, an award. And then here's another one. Kendall Kenneth also got one of our awards of excellence. This is born again as a frog and Kendall said, let's see. I didn't have much inspiration except for Animorphs. The man turning into a frog is calmly reflecting on his life before he turns into a frog completely. Other than that, interpret my piece as you wish. The theme this year was tough. <laughs> How were we supposed to uh, show change through one picture? I had no idea, but as you can see, I came up with something. And not only came up with something, but came up with a winning image. So congratulations to Kendall, despite the frustration you must have gone through. And now I'm just going to show you a couple examples of uh, four pieces from high school because there are some really sophisticated things happening on the high school level with digital technology. This is a really, really elegant piece by Leanna Brogan from Palm Harbor University. It's a piece that takes a Marilyn Monroe character and starts to comment about greed and narcissism and vanity and corruption, and it's called Rot. Very powerful piece, again, done in digital technology. Here's one by Montserrat Heron, uh, Hernandez uh, Alamia called Deathly Dance. And this one, it's all drawn, but it's just so beautiful and so sophisticated uh, that really it's working on a completely other level. And it was also one of our award winners. Just a fantastic piece done in digital technology, using digital technology. This is a student from Gibbs. This is Caitlin uh, Sudeth, her Rapunzel's Confusion. Again, all drawn, but using digital technology to create something that's incredibly powerful, really sophisticated, totally metamorphic and um, a little uncomfortable, maybe a lot uncomfortable, but a very powerful piece. And the last one here is lovely from um, East Lake High School. This is a uh, Nicole Bonfiglio, rest in peace, the reefs. Very sad, obviously comment on ecology, but uh, using digital technology to create this idea of kind of man, man of rays taking away the uh, the reefs section by section and moving to some other universe. So very powerful and very sad piece. But again, these are just uh, several examples of about 35 pieces we have in the show out of 112 pieces that all use digital technology. So there's a lot of digital art that you can get involved in and do some really sophisticated things. OK, so real quickly, just a couple other programs we have that I want to share with you. We had something for a long time. We obviously have our junior docent program, and that's a wonderful, wonderful program. But we also, for a while, we had gone to having also a teen docent program. And eventually, over the past two years, it got turned into a teen voices program. And what we did is we worked with the um, teen docents, and we gave them opp the opportunity to not only write about a piece that they really, really like, but they got to record that piece and share it in an audio tour. And on our phone app, this is also an option. So you can go to the tours and one of the two uh, tour options is teen voices. And essentially it's teens to teens sharing their insight into the paintings. So um, one of the things we know about Dolly is he was a great storyteller. And on occasion, he would encourage other people to talk about his work. So this is Salvador Dali and the gentleman whose collection we have, um, Reynolds Morse. And Reynolds Morse is talking about Dolly's paintings, seemingly surprisingly to Dolly, who probably wasn't prepared, but it's the idea that we all have stories to share about people's art. And this, our collection is no, um, you know, is a really good example. This is uh, one of our past teen uh, Dolly groups. And we're probably rethinking it for next year how we're going to do it, but it was a wonderful opportunity to rethink the collection and get involved in it. I encourage you when you become a teen to uh, look into it and see what we have going on. And this is the link for it. Here's one of our Dolly teens with the large uh, steel mustache outside. And with, if you go onto our website also, you can find this and this is basically where you can play each one of these while looking at the painting. And I think we've got 18 of the paintings explained by teens for teens. And Dolly loved the idea of juxtaposition as well as metamorphosis. So that's what the lobster telephone is all about. In a way, using your cell phone to find out about the collection, it's a little bit like playing the game of telephone 
we all have our own interpretation of what someone else is doing. Maybe it's right, maybe it's not, but it becomes more interesting the stranger things get. And let's see, here's a great quote by Dolly. He says, I do not understand why. When I ask for a grilled lobster in a restaurant, I've never served a cooked telephone. I'll let you think about that as we move into our last section, which is our Dolly digital resources. And um, uh, Joy has already alluded to some of the things that we have, but we have one page, which is a visit virtual page where we have a lot of things available specifically for this evening's conversation, where you can go and you can explore different pathways to going to galleries, online activities, lesson plans. And I'm just gonna point out a couple of these. We have the activity booklet that Joy mentioned. Some of you have probably already seen this. I think we um, we were able to share it last year as part of the Artmobile, but it's available as a PDF always online, so it's available there. It's 26 pages of activities that you can explore. We also have the educational activities, and this is very much aligned with what Joy does with Dilly Dally on thur Thursday nights, so you can explore some of these crafted projects that you can do at home. We also, as I mentioned, have Teen Voices online. We have our Student Surrealist Gallery online, and we have Pinellas, State, and Hillsborough, so you can compare and contrast what's happening in the different uh, counties across the state. We also have our amazing Dolly Fashion Design. So the Fashion Design at the Dolly Program, it's a program primarily for, for junior and seniors in high school, but we have some extraordinary photos of the creations that they made, and you can explore that online at our website. For example, this incredible piece by a junior at Gibbs High School by Connor Toten, based on the Geopoliticus child, and he created just the most unreal and bizarre incomprehensible dolly inspired metamorphic type of costume to present so this is the kind of thing that we're able to accomplish and we are just amazed by the work of Pinella students um also i wanted to mention and in the uh, links that jonathan shared with you i also included the link to the movie that dolly made with walt disney it was never finished in his lifetime so it was only finished in 2003 but it was based on Dolly's, um, all of Dolly's storyboards, and it's essentially a seven minute movie where you get to see Dolly's paintings suddenly animated and come to life in a kind of slightly Disney-esque, slightly Dolly-esque kind of a universe. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, it's only seven minutes. I definitely encourage you to explore that. You just go to YouTube. If you can't find the link, just do YouTube, Disney, Dolly, and it will come right up. And here's the link to the Tate paint game that uh, that Joy was talking about earlier. It's also included in the uh, the links. And last but not least, Joy had mentioned the dreams of Dali. And I just want to see if I can go to our website to show this to you. This is basically it was created for an Oculus Rift. So it's a virtual reality experience of one of our paintings. Um, and I meant to put the painting in here. I don't even have that, but let me see if I can just shift us now to looking at our website. And if I can, I want you to be able to see this because it's just incredible. So hopefully everybody is seeing this. I hope I have the audio set. We'll find out in one second. There. Okay. Got it. Um, Peter, I think when you mute it yourself, it mutes the video, so you may have oh, to. Okay, yeah. no sound. Um, once you, I believe, once you mute it yourself, it muted the video. I didn't actually mute myself, so that's a little concerning. Let me see. Let give me one second. I think I may know what the problem is. I think I need to once again open this up. It's only a six-minute movie, but it's the perfect way to end. So let's try this one more time. See if this will work. Um, Delirious material. My delirium is injected and sublimated in these rocks.
think I'm having some problems uh, showing it. Let me just quickly move to maybe one or two scenes and then we can go to any questions if there are any, but um, oh, this is too bad. It worked earlier today. I think I'm having some buffering issues. There we go. I think that might be just the right amount. <laughs> so it's not to give everything away, but invite you to explore that more thoroughly on your own. Let's see. Hopefully I am back on the screen. So yeah, hopefully there's an opportunity for all of you to explore some of the links that we shared and be able to explore that on your own more thoroughly. Um, so some of the things we shared with you, Joy uh, was able to show you some of the activities that we do and show a really interesting program that the Tate has. We were able to talk to you about some of the things you can do with our app, some of the things that you can do with, um, with our team programs, and finally, some really wonderful uh, things to explore with Dolly and Disney and with our virtual reality experience. So Jonathan, thanks for this opportunity. Wow, uh, that was really incredible. Um, I, Salvador Dali and surrealism is is just so fascinating. I mean, there's just and what what technology is now doing to to bring you into the paintings like that. I mean, just amazing stuff. Uh, I, I'm really inspired, and I want to get surreal for real. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jonathan. So thank Thanks for this opportunity. You. Oh, yeah. Th thank you, Peter and Joy, for taking the time to present to our students and our teachers and everybody else that came along today. Um, you know, the, the things you guys are doing at the Dolly Museum are just amazing. And taking the time to share with us, uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, students, remember to have a parent or guardian nearby when you're viewing um, approved websites on your devices. All right, and if you do see something that is inappropriate, make sure you let your uh, parents know. Um, that's important anytime that you're on the internet. I want to thank everybody for joining us for this Level Up Virtual Arts Visual uh, or Visual Arts Virtual Enrichment Event with the Dolly Museum. And um, everyone, let's say thank you to Peter and Joy and the Dolly Museum. Already, I know your mics are, are <laughs> muted but I could definitely hear you somehow. Um, if you're interested in, in participating in more of these Level Up virtual learning experiences, please go to www.pcsv.org uh, forward slash level up, all right? And there we will have some more. Um, if you have any questions at all, you can put them in the chat and we'll stay here for another minute or so. Uh, if you have to go get some dinner, do your homework or... <laughs> Be your work. Rest up. <laughs> uh, we'll see you. Have a great night and stay creative. Thank you all. Thank you. I'm looking for some uh, questions in the chat. I'm not seeing anything right now. A lot of appreciation. Yeah, this is great. All right. Well, I think you answered all their questions. <laughs> well, again, thanks for the opportunity, Jonathan. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. You guys have a good evening. We'll see you, Peter. Enjoy. See you later.
Bye, everyone.